Hey guys, what is up? The new Cubist here. Welcome to episode 3 of my Minecraft Falling Falling custom map survival series. If you guys want to download this map, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And shout out to the author of this mod. Or not this mod, sorry. This custom map for making such a wonderfully random thing. So basically the premise of this is that there's a bunch of... Okay, I can't hang off the edge or this happens. It starts to hurt you and it'll kill you very quickly as we found out many times last episode. But if you guys missed the previous episodes and you want to be sure to check them out... Go, uh, go on my channel, and you should see episode 2 and 1 already out. But yeah, this is episode 3, and it should be pretty cool. Um, it's essentially a bunch of falling blocks. So if you watch the first episode, it'll make this much more understandable as to what we're doing right here. Because up above us is a mass of randomly fallen, fallen blocks, and while I'd like to go up there and show you guys, this map gets bigger and bigger, and or bigger and like the tall, it's only 25 by 25, but the blocks continuously fall randomly, and albeit it's a little slow as they fall, but they do it constantly, and so every second that passes, the whole world gets a little bit taller, inch by inch, block by block. So that's, that's a little daunting, because that means next time I go up there, we're going to be uh, met with a very, very, very long journey to get up, back up there. Yeah, it, it should be interesting, we'll, we'll just put it that way. But let me know in the comments section as you watch the video, uh, your thoughts on this and if you want to see more of it in the future because I honestly don't know again this is only the third episode so I'm waiting to see what you guys say about it but is this water oh cool okay so we can till all this too cool but yeah I have a little bit of a farm going there's not much happening with it yet I haven't even tilled most of the area but you know it's it, it it's some it's something of a farm I guess it works I think. I hope it works. We'll just have to wait and see. I assume things can grow because the light level is definitely high enough and I know you can farm underground so it definitely works. It's just a matter of time before we get our very own food because we don't have any access to food right now. Like literally nothing. None at all. And uh, I don't know. There's something beautiful about how random this is. Eventually we'll find some diamond. I mean eventually we'll find every block in the game and that's just kind of cool to me. Um, there is an end, there is a nether, um, how to get to the nether is you just find diamonds, like, you know, every version of the game, and you just, uh, play your part, mine the obsidian, make some flint and steel, and you can go to the nether, and supposedly there's spawn eggs there for, like, passive mobs, which is really dope, because that means we can actually do some animal farming, and, uh, get an enchantment table and normal Minecraft stuff like that. Um, also, there's been a zombie spawner that has fallen, and luckily it's pretty close to the base, so we can make a little uh, zombie spawner up there. It is right over here, in this area right here. It's just like a, just a zombie spawner, and I put them trapped in this thing, and they're just hanging out in there. I assume having a good time, I really don't know, I haven't, I haven't been in there yet to fight them. Just because I'm kind of scared to go in there. I'm just trying to f like mine out this area of my base. So I'm going to continue doing what you saw me doing in the beginning of the video for like another 10-20 minutes. And we'll see how far we get. But I'll come back on camera if I find anything amazing. But if not, I'll see you when this whole thing is cleared out. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't mention it, this is only a 25 by 25 square. So it's really not that big. So it won't take that long to clear out. But it's going to be cool to finally have an area for our base. Uh, where we know we can go and always find the base, but yeah, let me get to it So my thoughts are if the nether is completely normal and untouched which I highly doubt But at least if we can infinitely expand on that and it's not just a 25 by 25 platform that literally kills you when you try to uh, Get off of it. What I really think we could do is like have this to be our resource gathering area like the main world and then we can actually have the action or like not the main like this like my like the main world of minecraft and then our actual main base hear me out could be in the nether that might be really cool and really fun to do because i typically don't just live in the nether i've only been mining for like five or six minutes and i haven't made a whole ton of progress i mean a good bit by far like totally like a good bit but like this thing is a little bigger than I thought um, it's still it's only I mean it's only 25 by 25 but like that's a lot of blocks like what's 25 times 25 like 500 no not 500 it's definitely bigger than 400 blocks but I don't know by how much 25 5 more 25 so it's like 525 right 25 times 25 I don't know but yeah I'm gonna keep mining I'll shut up and get back to it but I'll come back if I find anything super cool like diamonds or well, that is kind of cool. We found obsidian, but yeah, let me get back to it. It's definitely interesting. Mine. Okay. 
Okay, so I fell and died, and that sort of hindered our progress because I fell and died. But good news is, is that I put up all my stuff. I, I died kind of intentionally because I didn't have any health, and I was afraid I was going to lose everything. But upon inspection, when I come up here, I can see that there is a few iron blocks exposed. So maybe enough to make a pickaxe, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe it's just this one. Uh, I thought there was more. But anyways, I'm going to keep getting back to it. I've only found one other iron ore so far. I mean, I had the other iron axe, but then it kind of got destroyed. I don't even remember if this that was in this episode or last since I recorded them uh, both at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to get back to the, the grind of digging this out. It's interesting because you'd think it'd be faster, but because of the variety of blocks, when I use, like, when I have to switch to different tools all the time, it actually ends up making it take way longer than I feel like it should. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's not boring. It's keeping me on my toes. I'll, I'll give it that. But again, I still don't know what I think about this 100%. So let me know in the comment section if we should keep it going or not. But yeah, let me get back to it. Oh my gosh. It happened. Okay. So I was hoping this would happen. We have our first sapling. Which, you know, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal. But eventually I'm going to dig out a giant... Oh, I'm going to dig out a giant area above this. And then we'll have a stable source of wood. Which will be absolutely incredible. Now the area you have to big that you have to dig is honestly like really big, so I'm not gonna do it right now. But just so that I'm reminded in the future, I'll go ahead and start digging it a little bit like that, and we'll just leave it how it is. But yeah, back to the grind. Hopefully, I find something pretty good. Finally, I've breached the 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 the, the second to last corner. There's only one more corner after this that I have to dig to. And it's that corner over there, and like the complete other half of this. I've, I realize now I've only dug out about half of it. I thought I had dug out a bunch more, but upon inspecting this and just like kind of kind of glancing at it from one corner, I've dug out maybe about half or so. So we're getting close, and we're finally going to have a home base to live in, and that's what I'm really excited for. Oh, heck yes. That just made me so excited. We finally found our third and last piece of iron needed. Oh, it even gave us a creepy noise. What? Did I really have three iron in there the whole time? I refuse to believe that. I had three iron in there the whole time, and I was complaining about not having an iron pickaxe. Man, I'm smart. I honestly want to make an iron shovel. I feel like that's going to really help me out because the most materials are like, uh, like dirt type materials, and then... There's only a few logs. Like, I mean, you can see my inventory. Like, if we go look in here, this is kind of like the distribution of it. I'm just throwing everything I get into this chest, aside from, like, a few things that I've crafted. But this is everything that I'm getting as I mine. I'm going to put up most of this stuff. But, yeah, everything I'm getting as I mine, I'm just throwing into these uh, into this chest. I'm going to go ahead and empty this one out. Put stuff into here. Because I want kind of want to figure out the distribution of blocks so I know what to look for. But, like, we have a stack of sand, a bunch of stacks of dirt. Bunch of stacks of cobble, but almost no iron. So it looks like we've found six in total. Um, a good bit of redstone, but honestly, I've mined it out with my stone pickaxes because I, I didn't have anything else, which is kind of sad to think about. But now that I've got this, it's going to turn things around, and we're going to get... That's obsidian, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to have to mine all the way through that, aren't I? Yep, I'm going to have to. All right, let's do it. Okay, it's been like 30 seconds. How long does this take with iron? Like, seriously. Okay, I finally mined it. I think that took like a minute. So yeah, back to the typical grind. Hopefully I don't find any more obsidian. That would that would be a kick in the, a kick in the motivation there. Well, looky here. We have some of this uh, fancy whatchamacallit, grass. Which means that we can grow out and make a big grass floor in here. Which is what I think I'm going to maybe try to do. And maybe we can get some more saplings. No, apparently not. But I did find some grass, and that's very good, because it's just going to slowly grow. And uh, I know I have this. I don't know why I'm not using it. And it's going to slowly inch over here, and uh, we'll have a, just an absolute ton of grass. That actually makes me excited, because now we'll have a field of grass, which we can use bone meal on and get some seeds pretty quickly. But we don't have any skeletons. But I feel like I can make a mob spawner in here pretty easy by just making like a dark area for mobs to spawn. And uh, hopefully we can get like a really good mob spawner going. If I sit at this corner, like right here, and then things are spawning over there, that's definitely far enough for them to spawn. And uh, good news is I've already found one iron, and now look, we're back up to two. Oh yeah, big things coming, guys. Ooh, look at that, guys. We got four pieces of iron. We're really balling now. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh, 
We have three pieces of iron. Oh, okay, now we have four pieces. It's funny because iron is like really rare, right? I've just been sort of mining. I'm just giving you little status updates as I go. But uh, we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. Just inching forward ever so quickly. Not, not very quickly, honestly, but hey, it's kind of fun. Okay, so as you guys can see, I broke this barrel, and apparently this barrel had a bunch of stuff in it. I'm gonna try to put in here what I think it came with a cow spawn egg, a music disc, gunpowder, leather horse armor, wheat, and a bunch of other stuff, so that's really interesting. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that little time lapse there. I'm just gonna do the rest um, at a normal pace, and uh, hopefully we end up with a pretty, cool, uh, a pretty cool video, but I really do hope you guys are enjoying this series because if not let me know in the comment section and we'll be sure to shut it down just so that we don't I don't want to record something you guys will don't want to see but I figured I'd come back at the precipice of this entire mining expedition we finally have our home sort of built now I imagine that since we've been doing this for I don't know like 30 minutes or so uh, that the world is gonna be probably about a hundred blocks tall so it should be interesting to find the top and just sort of explore it then. Hopefully there's not a bunch of deep chasms that cause us to die. But yeah, there's only a few more blocks and then we'll finally be done with this whole ordeal. I'd like to make a few torches though because we do have a big, good bit of coal now. Um, I don't want to use all of it, but I think that's okay to make like 20 torches. And we're just going to run around and we're just going to place torches on this entire thing. It may look pretty much lit up, but the thing is, is I'm playing on bright brightness, so like it's a little deceiving as far as like where mobs would spawn, and that's the last thing I want in my base, my giant flat area where uh, there's no other spaces for mobs to spawn. They would spawn like insane amounts in here, so I want to make a little bit of like a glass path or something, not a glass path, but like a glass cage in like one of the corners of the map, and just to see how much stuff will spawn, and maybe we can just sort of brawl them there. Or we can make the layer above us a mob spawner and just have them fall right into our laps. I think that may be pretty cool as well. And we could dig some, uh, I don't know, I mean we have an actual spawner right there. But we could leave that in uh, in its place and have that drop into like the dark room above us. And, right, and then have some water canals that just sort of bring all the mobs into our base. I feel like that would be absolutely insane. But I don't know. Let me know where, what you guys want to see with this series. I'm having a lot of fun recording it. It started off a little slow just because I think I was so confused on like, well, what am I even supposed to do? But now that I sort of have more direction, I feel like it's going to be a lot more fun because I actually have some things I want to work towards now. And I kind of understand this whole thing now. There's not a whole lot of iron, which is unfortunate, but I definitely want to get mending going pretty quickly. Only issue with that is you need sunlight. So I would have to go to the very top of this and I'd always have to deal with stuff falling on me. Supposedly you can use glass and I'm not, I'm not saying supposedly because I don't believe it, but you can use glass. And so what I'm going to do is dig up all the way to the top in like, like a two by two hole and then just sort of use that as my, uh, as my fishing hole. And, uh, it, you know, it could be down on this layer, but that has to go up to the sun regardless. So that should be somewhat interesting. It looks like we're finally done after all this time of mining. Hopefully that, that time lapse was sort of satisfying to watch. Personally, I love watching time lapses like that, but I figured it had to end because I broke a barrel. And I figured, hey, it's just going to give us a barrel. Not a big deal. But it didn't. And there's a lot of mobs in there. I should definitely go, like, kill those. 
Let me make a stone sword. I don't know what happened here. I think the water melted. But I definitely want to put some torches down over in this area. Definitely in the corner. Okay. So we have our whole our whole little area here. This is like the darkest part in the very center. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to put up all these materials. We definitely want to sort it at some point. But like a lot of the stuff is going to stack because there's just not that much of it. But I guess we don't have any. That's our first iron ore that we found. We only found like a few iron on this whole thing. Like three in total. I'd like to donate the rest of the iron maybe to a nice sword. Hmm? Something like that. So we got some iron, uh, some iron tools and whatnot. And uh, it looks like we have a bunch of birch. So we can make some birch stairs for what I'm planning on doing. So just make some birch stairs. And I kind of want to have an entrance to go up to the bigger, the bigger part of our world. The bigger and better part. It's not better. But this part is ours, which I'm happy with. I really like that I actually have my own little area now. I definitely was confused at first, like, whoa, what am I supposed to do? Because it's kind of overwhelming to play something like this at first, just because of the sheer amount of crap that can happen, and that does happen. But yeah, we have a spawner, it's like right... I definitely need more torches, hold on. We're gonna make a bunch. Let's see how much coal we have from that whole thing. We have seven coal. Okay. <laughs> so we don't have a whole lot of torches, but we have enough to get by, I suppose. And this will be perfect. Seven coal, seven torches. Do it. Okay. So torches are definitely in limited supply. We can make charcoal at some point, which is what we're probably going to have to do. I'm just worried about, like, mobs spawning up there and stuff. But I don't even know what's up there, which is curious. It's making me curious. I want to know. I feel like there's something up here that, that, that we should be able to get to. And uh, I hate doing staircases like this, but you know what? I think just for the sake of this world, that's going to have to work. I'm just curious because I, f I swore there was a way to get to our base from here or get to our spawn point But I kept getting lost when I was in here. I think this is where I dug down. Yeah, I literally dug down right there So I'm not sure where I got lost exactly, but hopefully now it's a little more uh, a little more straightforward how to get home But yeah, let's go up there Let's kill those mobs because it sounds like there's just a bunch and I'm kind of tired of hearing them Growl or whatever you'd call their zombie noise. So we're just gonna Oh wow, where are they? Oh, they've all fallen into here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not preferable, but it'll work. I kind of want to light it up for now just because I don't necessarily need them spawning. So let's just... Is there a way to get down there without completely wrecking, wrecking ourselves? We put this here? Okay. Can we hit them? Albeit a little cheap that I can hit them here, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely like, okay, so there was like five, but they were getting kind of loud and annoying. You probably heard them on the time lapse, and I do apologize about that. Yeah, they, they were like, just there's just a bunch down here. Okay. Well, I killed all but one. Hopefully no more spawn, but if they do, they're blocked off anyways. Oh, man. This is, this is going to be just an interesting series. I have a whole ton of things I want to do. I'm just trying to like figure out how to do them. I definitely need to get back up to the top of the world. But, ooh, I have my melons grown. Okay, cool. I didn't even, dang it. <laughs> I didn't even notice that they had grown. But I'm just going to do my melons like this. Just be, I know this is not the most efficient way to do it. But uh, honestly, I'm okay doing it like this because it's going to be a ton of melons. Ooh, a bunch of seeds too. We'll put the seeds right here. They're not the best source of food, but it'll work for now. Oh, man. This is crazy. But, yeah, our loadout looks pretty interesting. We got a bunch of cobblestone, which is good, I guess. Okay. So, I want to go back. Oh, we didn't actually finish it until we break this. Okay. Now we're complete. So, what I want to do is go up to the next, uh, or go up to the, the, the next floor, but I don't have any food. So I know this is kind of cheap, but I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're just going to kill ourselves. Now, hopefully, the spawn point is accessible because before it completely wasn't, and I was unsure why. But let's see. So we died. Okay, so this is our spawn point now? I'm confused. Let, let, let me do it again. I want to know where our spawn point is because originally it was not right there. Okay, just, just third time's the charm. Yeah, this thing is huge. Oh, my gosh. Well, here, we could get a quick little look at it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's quite tall now. Okay, I'm done dying. I'm done. Okay, but now we have full health. I know it's a little bit cheap, but there's honestly no other way for me to get any, like, regeneration going. So I'm just going to leave it at that. We'll bring half the torches, so like 10. 
But yeah, I want to dig up the area above this sapling too. So let me do that off camera. I'm just gonna make. Oh, I'm just gonna. Ooh, there's a there's some iron too. That's good. But yeah, it needs to be like I think three blocks around it too. So I'm just gonna dig all this out and uh, make an area above it tall enough to let the tree grow. And once the tree can grow, we have access to charcoal, and uh, that should be a lot better than what we've been doing, which is well, just surviving on nothing. I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm gonna dig this up off camera, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so this looks big enough to me. I don't know if it needs to be any bigger, but if it does, I guess we'll find out. Because once we're done with this, uh, and we come back down and it's not grown, then it's definitely not gonna grow. So my plan is to make a staircase up to the top, and uh, some sort of a spiral one, kind of like how I have it going here. Um, albeit, I want to make it a little cleaner. I keep saying the word albeit, but I'm not... <laughs> Albeit, I'm not sure why. I Maybe mean, I'm just trying to be fancy, Neo. But hopefully we can get up. Oh, see, I just don't want to die from stuff like that. And my pickaxe, is it really just about to break? You know what? We'll go ahead and break it. We'll break a bunch of blocks we're not supposed to. Because it's it's nearing the end of its life anyways. What is that? Oh my. What did I just find? Is there a cave spider spawner, like, near here? Oh no, please tell me there isn't. Please tell me there isn't. That's, like, the worst kind of spawner. Where is this? Okay, I have to know now. Okay, where is it? Please, please show me. Okay, we're pickaxe broke. But yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Those spiders absolutely just destroy me, and I don't know why. They're like my bane. They're like the, the bane of Neo's existence. I think it's because they're different than normal spiders, and they just surprise me, and I never expect it to happen. We don't have any iron, do we? No, we don't. Okay, well, we're downgraded back to... Well, we have this, but... That's uh, not enough. Okay, well, we're downgraded back to our typical stone attire just for now. I'm sure we'll find more soon. We were balling out there for a little bit with three iron tools. Now, I guess we could make a an iron golem farm, maybe, or a villager farm. I think you can get villager spawn eggs, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check with that, I, I, I guess, by playing the game. Oh, wow. Things must just be spawning here. I don't know why. I have no, I have no idea why they're spawning, but hopefully when we make this, nothing bad happens, like, as far as, uh, getting up to the tippity top. Okay, we can still go up, yep. I wanted to make it like a proper spiral staircase. I don't know why things kept spawning there. I should probably dig around here and check, but I can't even dig through redstone now, which is like the saddest part, because I feel like right around here is a spawner, but I don't know where. I mean, it's probably somewhere. It has to be somewhere, Neo. You dumb head, of course it's somewhere. But yeah, it's definitely near here, but I don't, again, I, I don't know where it is. I hear more spiders spawning, but I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna bother myself with that right now. I'm just concerned about getting up back to the top and seeing what we can't find up there, because hopefully there's something cool up there. You never know. Maybe there could be some, uh, a bunch of diamonds, or maybe we'll find iron on the way up. Who knows? But we're getting really close, because we've already gone up pretty far. These spiral staircases are the most efficient way. Oh, I thought there was grass. I was like, okay, is that water? No. I'm scared that I'm going to drop water on myself. That's like the last thing I want to do. Because then it's going to ruin all my torches. Nope. Okay. Bye-bye, torches. See you later. <laughs> please. Or I guess not please. I don't know. I'm starting to get tired. I may end the episode pretty soon just because it's like 2 in the morning and I don't know why I'm still recording but I'm just having a lot of fun playing this and it didn't want to stop. But honestly, I'm supposed. I'm going to try to get up early tomorrow. Ooh, I hear something. I hear a lot of scary noises. I don't like that. We don't need those scary noises. You shouldn't do that, Minecraft. That's mean. That's very, very mean. How close are we to getting to the top? I, I may have severely underestimated how tall this thing really is. Because it... Oh! Are we getting there? <gasps> are we at the top? We're at the precipice. No, we're not. Oh my god, we're not even near it. Ugh. Okay, let's fall over here. Let's not fall off the edge. Yeah, we're like not even close. Do, wait, what is that up there? Do you guys see that? Is that a cow? I don't know what that is. But I'm going to end the episode here because I'm getting tired. And uh, while I'd love to keep recording, I don't think we're honestly going to get anywhere special this episode. Because we'd have to dig for a lot longer. But yeah, we're going to have this spiral staircase of doom. Eventually, I'll just convert it into a ladder. Actually, you know what? Why didn't I just make a ladder in the first place? 
I'm dumb. Sometimes I'm just really dumb. I should have totally made a ladder. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know by leaving it a like. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this series, let me know in the comment section below. If you're curious about the shader pack or the music, it's all linked down in the description. I'd like to thank you guys a final time for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.